Release yourselves, O nightingales of God, from the thorns and brambles of wretchedness and misery, and wing your flights to the rose garden of unfading splendor. O my friends that dwell upon the dust, haste forth unto your celestial habitation. Announce unto yourselves the joyful tidings. He who is the best beloved is come. He hath crowned himself with the glory of God's revelation, and hath unlocked to the face of men the doors of his ancient paradise. Let all your eyes rejoice, and let every ear be gladdened, for now is the time to gaze on his beauty. Now is the fit time to hearken to his voice. Proclaim unto every longing lover, Behold, your well-beloved had come among men. And to the messengers of the monarch of love, impart the tidings. Lo, the adored one hath appeared arrayed in the fullness of his glory. O lovers of his beauty, turn the anguish of your separation from him into the joys of an everlasting reunion. And let the sweetness of his presence Dissolve the bitterness of your remoteness from his court. Behold how the manifold grace of God, which is being showered from the clouds of divine glory, hath in this day encompassed the world. For whereas in days past every lover besought and searched after his beloved, it is the beloved himself who now is calling his lovers and is inviting them to attain his presence. Take heed lest ye forfeit so precious a favor. Beware lest ye belittle so remarkable a token of his grace. Abandon not the incorruptible benefits and be not content with that which perisheth. Lift up the veil that obscureth your vision and dispel the darkness with which it is enveloped, that ye may gaze on the naked beauty of the Beloved's face, may behold that which no eye hath beheld, and hear that which no ear hath heard. Hear me, ye mortal birds, in the rose garden of changeless splendor a flower hath begun to bloom, compared to which every other flower is but a thorn, and before the brightness of whose glory the very essence of beauty must pale and wither. Arise, therefore, and with the whole enthusiasm of your hearts, with all the eagerness of your souls, the full fervor of your will, and the concentrated efforts of your entire being, Strive to attain the paradise of His presence and endeavor to inhale the fragrance of the incorruptible flower, to breathe the sweet savors of holiness and to obtain a portion of this perfume of celestial glory. Whoso followeth this counsel will break his chains asunder, will taste the abandonment of enraptured love, will attain unto his heart's desire and will surrender his soul into the hands of his beloved. Bursting through this cage, he will, even as the bird of the Spirit, wing his flight to his holy and everlasting nest. Night had succeeded day and day had succeeded night and the hours and moments of your lives have come and gone. And yet, none of you hath, for one instant, consented to detach himself from that which perisheth. Bestir yourselves, that the brief moments that are still yours may not be dissipated and lost. Even as the swiftness of lightning your day shall pass, and your body shall be laid to rest beneath a canopy of dust, 
What can you then achieve? How can you atone for your past failure? The everlasting candle shineth in its naked glory. Behold how it hath consumed every mortal veil. O ye moth-like lovers of his light, brave every danger and consecrate your souls to its consuming flame. O ye that thirst after him, strip yourselves of every earthly affection and hasten to embrace your beloved. With a zest that none can equal, make haste to attain unto him. The flower, thus far hidden from the sight of men, is unveiled to your eyes. In the open radiance of his glory, he standeth before you. His voice summoneth all the holy and sanctified beings to come and be united with him. Happy is he that turneth thereunto. Well is it with him that hath attained and gazed on the light of so wondrous a countenance.
از نمیشن اندو بود همه Oh.